if you remember a while ago, we were talking about uh, one of our members, Peter's van, and uh, this is it. Today we are going to give you a van tour of Peter's uh, Volkswagen T4 Transporter. It is an early model. Um, I know he bought it uh, when it needed a lot of work doing on it as just a basic works van. I'll give you the full update shortly. He's also got uh, a little trailer, which I believe came uh, imported from uh, America. Uh, it should be a motorbike trailer. So uh, we'll get him to show us what's what and give us the full tour and uh, we'll get back to you. Enjoy the video. Tell us about the uh, the van. What uh, what year is it initially? I know you've got your private plate on now, but uh, the van is a 1998. I bought the van for 250 pound. Wow. With a broken timing belt. Right. The customer asked me to give him a price to do it, which would have probably worked out at 700 pound. But we decided, or he decided, he'd scrap it. Right. Hence me yeah, buying it. doesn't look uh, like it's scrapped now. You've done a fair bit to it. So what have you done? Obviously you did the, the engine. So what we did, we took the it, engine out. It was white, out. wasn't it? We took the engine out completely and completely overhauled it. It's a five cylinder 2.4. Right. So the engine was completely rebuilt, head was rebuilt and Runs like a dream. Nice and clean inside. What's what's this little gadget so here? So this, the red voltage is for the main van battery. Yeah. That green is for the leisure Did battery. You get your leisure battery. Right. While we're under the bonnet, this diesel tank is for the night heater. Oh, is this your, uh, your diesel heater you've got installed? Yeah. I always yeah. thought that was the best place to put it. Out of the way. What's that from? That's actually, I think you said that's from a, a, a lawnmower, wasn't it? That's from a Honda lawnmower. So, right. so you're not putting it in the van or under the van, it's a safe place to be there, isn't it, I suppose? Safe place, in the van, out of the way, no problem. Right. Gas strut. Gas strut, yeah, we've done that on one of our earlier videos. Uh, if you see one of the modifications we've done, uh, it's an easy gas strut. That's one of our videos to have a look at. So on then, the, the idea... Oh, your headlights, which is what they're not. Are they LEDs? Yeah, the LED ones. Um, but what happened was, once I drove it and it ran really well, I then decided I would uh, paint it. And the only reason why it's painted green is to match my other bikes. Other toys. My other toys, my <laughs> yeah. other bikes. And well, hopefully one day we'll get to see them. So what have you done on the inside? Were the, were the captain seats, they already in it? Or? So the captain seats were... I'm not sure what they were out of, but I went all the way down to Norfolk Broads to pick them up. They were two hundred and fifty pound. Right. Um, to make the brackets, which are just like U-shaped brackets. Well, these lights have you put those on yourself? Yeah, the lights. They all light up with the. Oh, the multicoloured, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I think I've ever seen those when we were out camping, multicoloured. So the seat works great. Yeah. You say that's the the bracket. It was just two brackets, fits well. On the side of the seat, we put this big kit on it, which is like a nice little, uh, little cup holder, drinks holder. That's funky. Where's that from? That's was that, that was from, Am or, from Amazon. Or, yeah. Just right. three ninety nine. That's handy. I might get one of those myself. Let's have a look what you've done in the back. Now you can't really see this at the daytime, but it, it does light up. I think we call it the party bus, didn't we? At uh, when we out camping. So this is where you diesel heater comes out of yeah. your pipe. What's this little gadget you've fixed on the side here? Table. Little drinks table. Drinks table. Okay. Got a bracket down there. It's just a, a pop open bracket to turn it. Yeah, push pull it. When you've, when you've tightened it up, if the button's in its way, just, you can just pull it out of the way. Right. Just drop it down. So you can stand outside your van and use it as a yeah, tray. Yeah, tonic on there. Yeah, nice. you got lights all the way into the, the step as well. Yeah, lights. You can't see until night time, but they are light up oh. blue. Now you've got your TV inside here. Let's have a quick look inside. Well, talk us through this control panel, Pete. Well, you've got quite a few bits and pieces here. What's all this lot? So on the control panel, we have... This one does the heater. Right. 
Then we've got we've got lights in the roof space. Nice. Yeah. Well, is that multicoloured or is it? They're multicoloured, change. Yeah. The other switches do van lights under the, the electrics. vehicle. Electrics. Yeah. This one does the fridge, blue lights, so we know it's on. This does the interior lights. That does the cigarette lighter. You got another cigarette lighter with points up there. Yeah, just USB ports. Charging the yeah. battery. You sink. You. I think as per normal. Yeah. A nice little collapsible teapot kettle. It only gets used for boiling water. Yeah, same as we don't really cook in inside of ours. You've got uh, a TV up there as well. TV, I'll turn that around. Um, you're looking at headlining. Yeah. Headlining you, you was... Got that pressed in there, haven't you? That's quite funky. These... Well, that's, that's not a standard VW. No, this is out of uh, a Kia of some sort from the scrapyard. All right. Ten quid. All two pairs of sunglasses. Nice. Lights in it, clock lights up. It won't work in mine because my um, lifting roof comes right to the front there, so I couldn't get that unfortunately. But you've got the side lifting roof, haven't you? We'll get that out in a minute have a, and pop that up. But yours lifts up different from mine. So you've got your fridge here, which is. So the fridge is a cooler. Just a 12 volt fridge. I'm cooler Tron. I brought this back from America. Okay. $99. Wow. Cupboards in place, gas bottle, water tank. Oh, strapped down inside there, out of the way. Now, what side do you mind? Are these, just put, are these magnetic or yeah, push so button? Push in. Oh, all right, okay. And then a hidden cabinet that oh, normally carries right, all the, uh, yeah, whiskey, the spirits the gins, and. Yeah. Yeah. So now I know, in future on campsites, then you've got your hidden cabinet, thanks for that. I know where to look. Okay, so, so there, standard wardrobe. What's the panel at the back? So that panel is the whole control panel. That does the leisure battery, the main battery, the pump for the water. That's the fuse control for mm -hmm. all the uh, 240 volts. Yep. And that's, that's just the battery condition, it's, now it's high. Talking about pumps, I know you've done something uh, quite special, haven't you, for your waste water yep. underneath. That's a bit like, which is... Is that battery or electric? That connected? works off the main thing. That's ideal for night time. That yep. goes on bright, so... So, yeah, talk us through what you've done underneath of that with your waste water from your sink. There is a little lever. So, what happens is that pull it out, opens the flap, the flap underneath. Yep. Drains the water straight out of the water tank over a grid. Is that something you've done yourself or was that yeah. uh, stand? Can you get that anywhere else? No, I think the valve or 12 pound, just adapt it, put it to a five gallon, uh, five gallon tank, screw it into it, a bit of sleeker flex. That's how that works. And just pull that pull straight out. out. Right. Uh, your wheels, what are they off? So the wheels were, they're new. The last wheels were, 17 inch. Right. What are these? But these they 18? were off. Uh, no, these are 17. Did they were off. Um, no, sorry, they were 18 inch, low profile, but the ride was awful. Mm. So these are new wheels, 17 inch tyres, 50 inch profile. Ride is far better. Yeah. And I'm, they I'm are the low rated. I'm the same with mine. I've got an 18 inch with uh, some. I had low profiles on mine, and I see you can feel every single little bump went over. The wheels are from a place in Ashton Underland. Right. So, so it goes around the back of the van and shows what you've done there. There's the... The electric, electric hook up. Electric hook up. The LED lights on the back. So you've got a little bit of... Uh, it's cargo net. Cargo That's net. That's a good no idea. Nothing worse than your pillars falling on the floor when you... So you can touch that. Okay. Four points. Just screw it up a little. Oh, you've got six point harness thing there. Right. So you open it up and everything falls out. You don't want that. So here, inverter. Three inverter. 
got a USB output, 240 volts. On here is the solar panel controller. Okay. It's charging there, as you can see, 13.4 volts. And if I'm at home and I need to charge the van up, I can put this, plug this into the mains, plug that into that cigarette outlet, and that keeps it at a constant 12 and a half, 13 right. volts. So that's just your storage for you. Your chairs. The tables go in there. The table. The chair, loo, okay. I'm a bit anal when it comes to this, that and the other, so everything is all nice and, nice and neat. Nice and neat, yeah, boxed yeah. And neat. Everything goes in its right place. Right. These are the latest. Well, I think we showed those. Fog lights, we've got a video where you fixing those fog lights on, actually. Yeah. So, what's this you've got on the back here? This is something so special, this isn't is, it? Everyone wants to know about this. this yeah. Is, Every time we get we go somewhere, people stop you and want to know what this is all about. This is a trailer that goes on my motorbike and my trike. It was made by a company called Bush, Bush Tech in America. This will carry all my camping gear. <clears throat> Uh, so there's your awning. So there's my awning, ground sheet, yeah. floor, tables. Yeah. I could, I can get most things in there, which saves when you go anywhere, having to climb over things in Absolutely. the van. Absolutely, it makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? If you just want to stop. And the same with my trailer. Well, no, that's quite a nice little funky. Plus, uh, yeah. Put the clothes in there. Everything can be nice and packed you did a, away. You did a suit. In a suit, you, yeah. yeah. When you go away camping. Oh, uh, what's this on the front? This little black box oh come on a cool box cool box oh, oh look let's see what we've got there oh. I'm, what, I'm disappointed yeah. that that's still full I am <laughs> I've still got a bottle of wine in there so we need to sort that out obviously not drinking and driving but next time we go on camping so we know where your spirits are we know you've got a cool box so <laughs> guess what we're going to be raiding Plus it's offset that slightly. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, it's and the not... reason being is because when I pull the trike, it goes on the main tow bar. Right. Under there. Nice. Let's have a quick look at your roof, because yours comes up different from mine, doesn't it? Your roof opens up slightly different to the side. And... So. Securing straps. At the front and the back. That's easy, isn't it? Again, there's plenty of room stood up inside here. It's a different setup as opposed to going from front to back. This goes uh, down the side. A couple of speakers in the back there, under the seat. And 12 volt power. Taker. Another 12 volt power. And that's that just your access to all oh, that's all the other stuff that you get from the back as well, isn't it? Yeah. More storage. It's ideal so you can get in there instead of going through the back. And what's this in the middle of the floor? That's for the table. Of your, your table. The table leg goes in there. Right. You're, it's not your. Uh, when you're doing your pole dancing, is it with all your lights and your music on? <laughs> Tell us what you've done in the front here, Pete. Looks a bit different. So, change the normal single DIN radio to double DIN. Right. Did you have to cut any of the dashboard out for that? Yeah, I had to cut the two vents out the top. Yeah. Uh, pretty easy to do. What about behind? Did you have to cut anything out behind? No, no. Oh, right. just a bit of the air vent. So that's the front well, that's facing. that's looking at the back there, isn't it? That's looking at the front. front yeah. So, and I can take a picture of that. I took a picture. Now, if we go back to the home screen, that's back to our normal. Right, that's because nice, you've got your cameras front and back li linked up to that. Everything's linked up, got Google on there, or your music, got your Google Maps on there. So what, what model is that, where is it from? It's uh, a, it's from, that's a booklet. A total? A6. Oh, right. 
right, okay. So it has, has a map on it and everything. So you've got Google Maps as well, does it link up to your phone? Links up to my phone, also links up to this device, which is Alexa. Oh, you've got Alexa in here as well. Alexa, play smooth radio. Sounds northwest from Global Player. That's nice, that's funky. I like that. What's up the top here? So that's the camera the from rear behind. Rear view, rear view camera. Yeah. 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 Well, that just fits over your normal, where your normal camera. No, that is that so mirror. Taking that out completely. Yeah. That is the right. whole mirror. Right. Right. That's wide up to the uh, rear camera. And this, this Alexa will connect to your phone. So you could, if you said, say, Alexa, play Hello by Kenny Chesney. Me from Hello by Kenny Chesney on Amazon Music. And also on the steering wheel. Volume control on that. Is that all Bluetooth? It's all Bluetooth. Oh, yeah. That's all Alexa, say. stop. Alexa, tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Isabel. Isabel who? Isabel not working. I rang four times before I started knocking. Alexa, talk like a pirate. Ah, batten down the hatches, fell the sails, draw sabers. These scallywags be shark bait. So that's how Alexa works. Plus on the... If I want to make a phone call. Alexa, phone Mike. Did you mean Mike? Yes. Calling Mike's mobile. Alexa, stop. The one thing this van has also got is a body kit on which uh, he says he purchased from a firm in Cornwall. Uh, it makes it uh, different and low. So be careful with your speed humps. But yeah, full body kit round. Well, thanks for showing us round, Pete. Nice van. If, uh, if you like the video, folks, Give us a thumbs up, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Monkey's Uncle Dubs Club.